Oscar Piastri and Daniel Ricciardo were each embroiled in one of the most talked about controversies of the Formula One season after Ricciardo was replaced with the younger star, landing him in a fiery contract battle with his former team. Many presumed there was tension between the two, but Piastri recently revealed nothing could be further from the truth. We'll be letting you in on all the details as the video progresses, so be sure to stick around till the end. Just what is the story between these two, for those coming in late? It's hard to imagine that anyone following Formula One news over the past couple of months wouldn't be familiar with this story, but you never know when someone's just now entering the sport and it's a rapidly growing fandom. Plus, this story is important to give the rest of the video context, so let's go ahead and give you a recap on the situation that got two of them in so many recent headlines. Daniel Ricciardo has been racing for the McLaren team, with 2022 being the second year of his three-year contract with them. He's a bit of a veteran of the sport, having debuted for Formula One in 2011, and like many, his racing background goes back wide a ways earlier than that. Oscar Piastri is a young up-and-comer. At 21 years of age, he's a dozen years Ricciardo's junior. He's still yet to actually race for Formula One, though he's been in the system for a while, and many have been impressed with what they've seen from him thus far. Indeed, he's considered a hot prospect for the future, but that future was recently thrown into a bit of doubt. He's been the designated reserve driver of 2022 for the Alpine team, and they had announced that he'd be driving for Williams in 2023 on loan from them. However, Piastri publicly spoke against this, saying he'd agreed to nothing of the sort, and he had no intention of racing for Alpine the next year since he hadn't signed a contract with them. He was with them on a sort of developmental deal, and the team had the option to keep him, but they waived it, unaware at the time that they'd be losing Fernando Alonso. He was then reported to be headed to McLaren to replace Ricciardo, who they were releasing a year early, ostensibly to make room for Piastri. While the eventual hearing of the contract recognition board went in the youngster's favor with his contract player being considered valid. Ricciardo's firing still seemed like a likely sore spot, although it was announced as being a mutual decision. It's hard not to see the situation and think they went out of their way to get rid of the vet to make room for Piastri. Oscar Piastri also praised Daniel Ricciardo as a true professional after the two Australians shared a heart-to-heart -heart in the wake of McLaren's decision to change drivers next season. At the end of August, Ricciardo mentioned that the two of them had not been in contact with each other since then, which led some to speculate on a potential rift that the situation may have caused between them. However, we're happy to say that this is simply not the case. So, the two have since come into contact, and if so, what words were shared? Even though it was said to be a mutual decision between Ricciardo and the team, in the same way that disgraced CEOs are often forced into retirement, but frame it as though it's a resignation and a choice that they're making for PR reasons. It's come to light that Ricciardo was utterly blindsided by the signing of Piastri in June, back when McLaren was still publicly supportive of Ricciardo and his efforts at rediscovering his top form. But even so, that doesn't mean he holds any sort of grudge against Piastri for replacing him. No sour grapes over the kid taking his spot or any of that noise. Following the Dutch Grand Prix in early September, Ricciardo let the press know that he had spoken with the young up-and-comer to clear the air about the situation and congratulate him on a hard-earned promotion. He also revealed that Mark Webber, a retired F1 driver who's become a mentor figure to Piastri and something of a middleman as far as negotiating deals goes, also reached out to him and apologized to Ricciardo for helping put him in a difficult spot. Daniel Ricciardo said that he believed this moment should be a huge one for Oscar Piastri and that he didn't want to do anything to turn it into a bad situation for him. He followed by saying, quote, I truly do wish him well. I want him to have a good run in Formula One. That's about all he had to say on the matter, but you now might be wondering, has Piastri backed up this notion? Why, yes, he certainly has, and we'll be able to share that side of the story too. So what did Oscar Piastri have to say about this phone call? Piastri had tons of praise to heap on the veteran when he spoke on a podcast titled In the Fast Lane. He confirmed that he had indeed received the call from Ricciardo and felt that doing so, despite his own career being in a murky spot, was a true sign of the man's character. When asked as to whether or not it was important to him that the two of them be on good terms, he answered that yes, he did believe so and affirmed that it was a really great thing for him to get in touch with him. He explained that he had been intending to contact him himself, but due to the timing of things with Ricciardo, of course, being at a race, he wasn't able to do it. He also admitted that he wasn't really sure if he even wanted to hear from him or not. He said that he was trying to think of what to say, but Ricciardo ultimately beat him to the punch. Piastri thusly said, quote, A true professional, Daniel is. My respect for him was already extremely high, and it's only gonna get higher in the way he has responded. Piastri implied that for a time, he was concerned about how the driver had perceived him 
and there seemed to be a bit of weight on his shoulders due to the idea of floating around that they were on bad terms, shown in the relief that he expressed in this interview. Once again, he talked about how good it was that he got in touch. What a nice moment it made for him personally because it let him know that there were no hard feelings between the two and he says that helped him out a lot. He referred to the McLaren switch as something of a sliding doors moment but noted that if he could get anywhere close to emulating the success that his predecessor has had on the track, as well as channel the human being that he is off the track, that he'll be doing a solid job. So with that monkey off his back, following the messy transition from Alpine to McLaren, he can now set his sights squarely on the Bahrain Grand Prix in March of 2023, the first race of the season where he'll finally be making his Formula 1 debut. How has Piastri responded to the big changes coming his way in the past month? The 21-year-old admitted to having a pretty emotional journey, going through a ton of pressure just to get the point where he could go public about his plans for the next season. When speaking about his reaction to the ruling after the contract recognition board's hearing, he said that the first emotion was obviously a relief. It was naturally a very stressful time waiting to find out what the court was going to rule on his future. This was, of course, followed by a lot of happiness, and he explained that this was something he'd been working towards since he started racing as a kid over a decade ago. He said that to finally know what his future holds, first of all, and to know that it'd be an F1 secondly, was a huge relief and joyous occasion for him. He explained, quote, when I first started, I wanted to be a professional in any kind of motorsport and just race cars for a living. But to be able to do that in F1, I think it's pretty hard to find a better day job than that. To that end, he's now very much excited for what comes next and looking forward to the future, ending off by saying that he hopes to make sure that this is his job for a long time to come. Here's hoping that much is in store for him in 2023 and beyond. And that's all the time we have for today's video. Are you pleased that Ricciardo and Piastri have made clear that there's no ill will between them? Are you excited for what the future holds for Piastri heading into 2023? Or do you think that there's maybe a little too much hype building for the kid to live up to? Be sure to let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. And until next time, thanks for watching.